Hey guys, Vision here. Uh, today I'm going to be doing an analog movement uh, tutorial uh, for a controller. I'm using a uh, Switch Pro controller, but whatever controller you have with an analog stick should be fine. Uh, I started off just by making a scene here, just so it looks a bit nicer, but I didn't put a player in, I just put the basic active object uh, thing here. So first you'll need a another hollow disk circle just like my last tutorial that's going to be used a bit differently we're basically creating a analog like a virtual analog stick on the screen and a small dot uh, both active objects and then the player the player movement is set to a bouncing ball movement uh, initial direction anything Speed 30, deceleration 0, uh, moving at start, number of angles 32, randomizer 0. <clears throat> then we just have the basic active static movement, nothing there. And the dot here is set to an 8 directions movement and speed is at the highest, or not highest, the 99, 9900 should be fine around there. Uh, deceleration zero, acceleration 250. So let's go into the event editor. First we're going to need a start a frame and we're going to set the input device to one. So it'll be the joystick. And we're also going to set the red ball's position to the player. Now, we'll need an always event. And we're going to set the position of the hollowed out circle also to the player. And we want the player to always look in the direction of the ball. There. Now, we'll have when the red ball collides with another object, the blue circle, we're going to have the red circle stop and bounce just so it doesn't get stuck on it or anything. All right, when the red circle is overlapping another object, the player, we want the player to stop. Okay, and when we have the ball overlapping the player again we're going to negate it so when it's not overlapping we want the player's movement to start okay so now we'll start doing the controls um, joystick uh, read state of joystick we'll do and it's moved up and we're going to insert is this ball overlapping another object to the player we want the movement to start so now we're going to need to copy that uh, three more times because we need to do for all just the four directions, four basic directions, and don't have to do all eight because you'll always be at least moving top or top bottom, left or right. And we'll switch all these over. And that should be that. Now we want 
when this is movement is stopped. I want to insert repeat while joystick is pressed top. And we're going to negate that. So when it's not being pressed or not being moved to the top, I'm going to copy that and paste three more in here. We'll change these to right, down, and left as well. Uh, we'll set the position relative to the player. So when you stop moving the analog stick, the ball will automatically go to the player and stop him. And that should be it. Let's see. Frame. And there you go. That is it. And then when you let go, automatically stops. Simple. And that is it. All right, thanks for watching. I hope this helps.